Given the increased focus on cybersecurity, connecting the exact mobile app to a customer NVR can be a challenge. Typically, the customer's IT department has to use port forwarding rules to allow access through the firewall. Not only does this take a lot of time, but it exposes the customer's NVR to inbound internet traffic. The exact cloud-hosted relay services provides a connection free of inbound firewall configuration for the exact mobile app and web browser interface. Once enabled, communication between the NVR and the mobile app is relayed through a secure cloud connection. A unique relay URL is used by the mobile app as a proxy for the NVR. This video will show you how fast and easy it is to set up this useful feature. Enabling the Relay Before you enable the relay, first make sure you're using Exact Vision version 19.06 or higher. Next, make sure all NVRs connected to the service have a valid license. If a server license is expired, you can still use the relay, but the image size and resolution will be restricted. Now, we'll verify all NVRs that connect to the web service have a valid power user process configured. This is an account with at least power user privileges that the web service uses to accomplish certain functions on the NVR, one of which is related to validating web relay use. To enable the power user setting, restart the web service when prompted. We can now enable the relay. To do this, navigate to the Basic Configuration page and check the Relay Connections option. The Apply button will enable. Press that, and after applying, restart the web service. After restart, it will return to the login page. To confirm that the relay is enabled, we will log in to the web service again and look for the green check mark next to the relay URL. The URL will end in r.exact.net, but the prefix will be a short, randomized string of letters and numbers unique to each specific web service. Also, Note the other addresses shown. Once the exact mobile app is connected to this web service at any of these addresses, it will know about all of these addresses and use the best method to connect depending on the network configuration. The mobile app prioritizes the addresses as follows. First, it prefers to connect using a local area network address. This is the most direct connection with the best performance and avoids using the internet. Next, it prefers to use external direct connections to the web service that are encrypted. This is the traditional configuration where the web service accepts incoming connections. For this type of configuration, it is recommended that the web server be assigned a DNS or dynamic DNS domain name and resides in a properly designed network DMZ to protect the rest of the network. Those requirements, of course, are exactly the headaches that using the Cloud Relay solves. If an external address isn't configured and the relay is enabled, the relay connection is used. Connect to web service using relay URL. Let's now look at how to set up the exact mobile app to connect to the NVR via the relay. Using the exact mobile app for Android or iOS devices, navigate to the web services configuration page and add a new web service. In the address field, Enter the relay URL to connect to the web service. Web services can provide video from one or more NVRs, so once added, you can choose the NVRs you want to connect to. If you want to use a web browser instead, it is very easy to connect via relay. Just enter the relay URL on the address bar. Rarely, when implementing security solutions is the faster, easier way of doing something, also the more secure way of doing it. In the case of the Cloud Relay, this is exactly the case. Setting up the relay is easier than getting IT approvals to punch holes in the firewall. And in the end, the customer can avoid any inbound traffic to their video surveillance solution.